Hello, this is Hot Indonesia, and welcome to all of you watching us in Manila. I'm Dalton Tarunaka in Jakarta, and here is this week's HI Hot List. Faithful Choice, a daughter of Indonesia's first president, changes religion. Will anyone protest? We ask Andy Bayuni, senior editor at the Jakarta Post. See no evil, cigarette displays in stores are banned. Will that make any health difference? An unsafe crossing, why going home from school shouldn't be this dangerous. Here are my co-hosts, Sandrina Malakiano, Deputy CEO of Polmark Indonesia from her home in South Tangerang, and Millie Lukito is CEO of the Mobiliari Group from her home in Jakarta. Hot topic number one, faithful choice. She is the daughter of Indonesia's founding father, and in a ceremony in Bali this week, Sukmawati Sukarno Putri officially converted from Islam to Hinduism. Family members reportedly gave their blessings to the change. This is notable because in a country that's nearly 90% Muslim, conversions are not generally well accepted. But in this case, the circumstances are different. Sandrina, briefly tell us why. Dalton, in my perspective, uh, there are two sides of uh, religion we need to understand. First, religion or faith as a form of teaching uh, that connects human beings with their God and religion or faith as guidance for people in living together and building a civilization. As a form of teaching uh, that links or connects people with their God, Religion becomes a very, very personal or private matter. This is an area that should not or must not be intervened by anyone. Every human being must be given or should have all the right to choose his or her own religion and to practice their religious teachings or beliefs. So I believe Sukmawati's decision to convert from Islam to Hinduism should not be seen as some sort of controversial issue. It is entirely Sukmawati's right to decide or choose her own religion or faith. Of course, there is this underlying context, namely that uh, Sukmawati is a public figure, so it goes with the territory. What she does or chooses as she walks her life would receive the public's attention, become a topic of discussion. This is just how it works when, it, uh, when one becomes a public figure, especially okay. because... But it also has the religious connotations, which we'll get to shortly. Millie, quickly, as a Catholic, do you have a problem with this? I do not have a problem with this. But in Indonesia, unfortunately, sometimes politics and religions are closely intertwined. And uh, given that the election year is uh, soon uh, upcoming, uh, some cynics, uh, of course, see this as a political move. Uh, and uh, the Sukarno family, uh, they are really very strong and they actually originate from uh, Bali. So Hindu is, of course, their uh, primary at that time uh, religion. But the fact that there is this uh, sudden shift and uh, desire to change uh, into Hinduism might be seen by some cynics as a political move. Okay, let's get more input on this and bring in Andy Bayuni. He is a founding board member of the International Association of Religion Journalists and senior editor at the Jakarta Post. Andy, thank you very much for uh, joining us. You know, uh, picking up what Millie said, uh, if it's a political move, it's a, to me, that's a bad political move. You're alienating the largest group of people in this country, the people belonging to the biggest religious group. Uh, from your perspective, Andy, how extraordinary is this? Well, uh, in you know, in, in Islam, when you uh, convert out of the, out of faith, out, out of the faith, you are co co considered as murtad, and murtad is seen as the biggest sin in Islam. Uh, but that, that, that that's one side. But on the other side, I think Islam also recognizes that faith is something that you you cannot force on people. And there is a verse in the Quran that says uh, there is no compulsion when it comes to matters of faith. So the, I think that the reaction so far has been uh, pretty uh, quiet. Uh, we have not seen any controversy. But within Islam, uh, murtad, like I said, is, is a big sin. In some countries, so the, the, in Islamic countries, Islamic states, uh, like Saudi Arabia and Iran, that is actually punishable by death. In some cultures, in Arabic cultures, there is this uh, so-called honorary killings, and they have stories of uh, 
people uh, who converted out or they were assassinated by their own families because of, to protect their honors. We don't have that culture in Indonesia, thank God, and we are not an Islamic state. I think uh, so far uh, people are respecting this uh, decision of uh, Sukmawati. It was good that uh, Muhammadiyah uh, Secretary General Abdul Muti came up with a statement saying this is a personal affair and uh, she went through the spiritual journey to discover the truth, to, to, to discover peace, and she made the decision, as, and then he said we should respect that, and he actually also said that uh, we should wish her well and peace with her new uh, religion. So, yeah, wait, uh, Andy, may, Andy, but, but Andy, yeah. maybe she's protected. Now, let, let, let's, let's be uh, straight on this. If she were perhaps a, a, an ordinary citizen, an ordinary Muslim, uh, and not a public figure, and he or she changed faith, and, and the neighbors and the family knew about it, there would be a big pushback, right? Well, yes and no. I mean, we have seen many uh, celebrities uh, converting in and out of Islam, uh, but they're celebrities, right? and they, they, they convert for marriage reasons or for whatever. Uh, but I think in terms of Sukhmawati, she went through the spiritual journey, and people really knew this. Well, at least the Muhammadiyah second uh, realized that and said that she found peace there and good luck to her. Uh, there will be discussions uh, uh, among within mosque about, uh, about the conversion, but she is uh, 70 years old. I don't think she has any power ambitions. So it, wouldn't, it would not be so much politicized, maybe politicized by the fact that she's the sister of Megawati, who is still very powerful. But we have not seen that yet. Well, she has her own political party. Okay, Sandrina, question for Andy. Yes, uh, Andy, in Indonesia, everything that relates to religion often becomes a very sensitive issue and could easily spark a huge fire. In this context, back uh, in the New Order era, President Suarte limited the media's space or ability uh, by saying that it is to present this sensitive issue from causing social disharmony and disturbing the country's political stability. Suharto banned news coverage on issues related to ethnicity, religion, race, and intergroup relations. But nowadays, the government can no longer implement such restrictions. Even if they want to, uh, they can't because people have such broad media access with almost unlimited freedom, the social media. So what should be done to ensure that our unlimited freedom does not violate other people's constitutional rights in choosing or practicing, believing, respecting their own religion or faith? Yeah, well, I, I think we, we want to protect this freedom, uh, you know, because it's, it's a, a basic human rights. And we are, especially now with the social media and the internet, we are seeing all kinds of uh, speeches, uh, hate speech, uh, disinformation, but we are also seeing a lot of good speech, uh, or, or love speech, if you want to call it, as opposed to hate speech. Uh, so I think we ha we have to leave it to the, the 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 people to make the decisions about what they want to read, what they want to access in the internet. Some of them would access the, the hate speech and disinformation. Though maybe they would be affected, uh, but hopefully I think uh, this is the, the the challenge for people who actually wants to maintain peace and harmony is to for us to populate the internet, the social media with our versions of. Uh, uh, interpretation of religion, if you like, uh, that do not lead to hate of the other faith. Okay, Millie, question for Andy? Yes, uh, I would like to ask, given that uh, for a Muslim to convert, usually, like you said, there is this um, connotation of being murtad. So do you think that someone like Sukma, uh, in her position, should be more communicative about her intention so that there is no room for a uh, wrong interpretation in this uh, very critical move in her life. Do you think that she has to come out more, communicate more, and talk more uh, to the, the people? I, that would probably be one, one way of doing it, but I think another way of doing it is actually to keep it private, keep it a low profile, and not attract so much attention. Uh, and I think she had done the right thing. She explained her reason for conversion, her, grandmother was Hindu and she went, she actually explained that she went through the spiritual journey to discover the truth. Uh, uh, but, and then she sent out the invitation. There, there was uh, not many people in, were invited, but I think President Jokowi was invited. Uh, 
that's what I write in the news. But the the conversion uh, was was a very private. Uh, the, the, sorry, the ceremony was very private, uh, and I think the media in Indonesia respected that. Uh, there was not so much coverage. If there was so much coverage, I think this this would be politicized, uh, and then uh, if she tried to explain it, this could also be politicized, not used against her, but actually more more, more used against her sister. So what I see at the moment, I think the, the publicity is 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 good enough. Uh, we don't need more because then would attract attention and create a huge debate, which we don't, we don't really need. And I think uh, you mentioned the president and the cabinet were invited, and unless they were in disguise, I don't think they attended. So they, they all wanted to keep a low profile. Profile. Andy Bayuni, senior editor at the Jakarta Post. Thank you very much for those insights. Hot Indo will continue shortly with See No Evil. Will the ban on cigarette store displays have a healthy effect? <laughs>